Caroline Pham. My name is Tiana Cadeo. My name is Jay Perimi. Hi, my name is Megan. MSA has given me more opportunities in the um, career that I want to pursue. I am a certified phlebotomist through the NCC testing. I'm an intern at Northside Hospital in the ICU rotational department. MSA has given me the opportunity to get first-hand experience in the medical field and interact with other members of the club who are also passionate about the science field and are pursuing the medical field. You must take a certain number of AP classes, specifically in math and science, that you must graduate with in order to be distinguished. I'm Porter. I'm a senior here at Lambert, and I'm part of the clinical internship program. I've always wanted to be a dentist, and it turns out my dad is actually a pediatric dentist, and so he's kind of been my inspiration. It's been really great for me to be a part of this clinical internship because I've been able to see the adult side of dentistry, and it's just been really good for me to find out what I'm most interested in. My name is Ruben, I'm a senior here at Lambert. I am currently intern at Northside in the surgery department. I've been interested in physical therapy since I was in middle school. Through the internship, I've gotten the opportunity to actually go to the office that I was a patient at and see the other side of the field. Currently, I'm in the diagnostics and phlebotomy class of the healthcare pathway, and in this class, we get NCCT trained in phlebotomy. In this class, we learn basic things such as like law and certain guidelines and personal protection equipment. Also, while being able to learn practical skills, like actually sticking our patients. I am a member of the Honors Mentorship Program at Lambert High School, where I get to go to a cardiac clinic and observe the doctors there. And I get to view and observe um, various tests, such as echocardiograms, carotid tests, and venous tests. All in all, with the Healthcare Pathway and this Honors Mentorship Program, I have learned about cardiology, and I know that this is something I will definitely consider to pursue in the future. Through MSA, I'm able to volunteer and help in healthcare-related community service projects to gain the experience that I need to sell myself in the career that I want to pursue. Freshman year, I knew that I wanted to be in the medical pathway, and I felt like Medical Science Academy went hand in hand with that. I saw the older kids wearing scrubs, and I really, really wanted to wear scrubs as well. With biotech especially, I like the smaller molecular level, but I also like tangible like biomechanical stuff like prosthetics. So the Medical Science Academy is a really unique program and a great opportunity for our students here at Lambert High School. It's something that we've had going for a few years now and the part that makes it so beneficial I feel like is the advanced science content that helps students be successful in scaffolding here at the high school level but also is going to transfer over to their college experiences but also the hands-on experiences that they get. They have unique opportunities to volunteer, to do outreach, to work in labs on campus but off campus as well. We have some amazing partnerships with adjacent hospitals and they have our students working with them and they're able to see things that many undergraduate and graduate students still haven't seen and they're having these experiences in high school. So the students agree to take a rigorous set of classes um, including AP Biology, AP Chemistry, AP Physics, AP Calculus with an emphasis then also on anatomy. Uh, we suggest they take Latin to really help groom them for almost a pre-med in high school. Our goal is to give the students advanced technologies, one of them being how, for instance, uh, how's our new simulator mannequin? Uh, he can actually breathe, blink, he has pulses, uh, we can do all sorts of uh, diagnostic type things with him and they can also treat him to see if the treatments work. Our purpose in this is to prepare them for real life situations when they go off to college and when they go off into their future career. The progression of the MSA Academy is freshman year when they're enrolled in Intro to Healthcare, they decide to apply for the program. Applications are reviewed by a committee of teachers and administrators, and then the cohort is announced. Then the sophomore year, they're enrolled in really their first specific classes, so Essentials of Healthcare or Essentials of Biotech, along with either taking AP Bio or AP Chem or AP Physics. Their junior year, they're taking Applications of Biotechnology or Applications of Healthcare, which is the phlebotomy training class, and working through their other AP requirements. And then the senior year, the expectation is that they're working in either a clinical internship, an internship work-based learning, or an internship with a local company in a lab, um, honors mentorship, or doing a research project throughout the year in my lab. In the biotech pathway, we're focused on genetic engineering and proper lab skills so that when the students graduate from the program, they're really ready to go and research. They've already done research in high school so that they're ready to go day one in their college careers in a research lab. So our students not only are exposed to rigorous curriculum, but then they're encouraged, in fact required, to compete. 
either in HOSA, which is the healthcare organization. We've had students place really well at the state level and the international level. And then in the biotech pathway, we compete in iGEM, which is the International Genetic Engineered Machine Competition, which is a collegiate competition set up for bioengineering. So students manipulate DNA and engineer new types of cells to create and manufacture a product. So to sum it up, I think our Medical Science Academy pulls together the students who are really interested in staying in the STEM fields but in the healthcare pathway. And so what I think is so cool is that in the healthcare pathway, you have the integration of the advanced academics in math and science. You have the advanced technology, you have engineering, and you have this focus on service learning, competition, all together, all wrapped up in this package of a cohort of students who are working together and interested in the same things to make the world a better place.